Welcome to this Challenger replay. We're here on Live Oaks and I'm platooned up with Black Gold Saw. And this was the last or the second last battle before I actually managed to elite this uh, tank. And luckily, I'm at the Charioteer now. So, luckily, in the sense that I, this tank. Even though that I got a good win ratio in it, so I managed in the end managed 63% win ratio, and okay-ish uh, average W and 8. It was actually it was lower than I expected, but uh, I I I managed to elite it in 64 battles, and they were all pretty okay battles. But this thing is just not really good. Um, the main issue I had with it is that the gun handling is pretty potato for such a low alpha gun and uh, the turret rotation is actually fairly slow as well which uh, can be quite annoying especially if you need to maneuver and shoot at the same time um, and couple that with the fact that I played this tank with um, not a stock crew I had a hundred percent crew and I was training up uh, six stands and camo um, on, on, on the crew so but the camo on this thing as well is pretty shit. I mean, look at this. I shoot at this T thirty four eighty five M. This is a really low caliber gun. He's quite a ways off, about four hundred meters, and he still spots me. I mean, this is a fucking TD. This is not a medium tank. I should have some camo for this crappy gun, but it doesn't. You get spotted all the time when shooting, which makes you. Uh, makes this tank so annoying to try and use on most maps and another problem is this thing has no armor um, it's pretty much paper and you only have 900 HP if you if you encounter tanks like uh, OIs and whatnot you you will just take massive amounts of damage and and all of that would be fine if you had some camo to actually make sure that you don't get spotted instantly when you fire I mean these heavy tanks don't spot me Luckily, they're at the maximum view range, and I would be surprised if they actually spotted me. But if that was a medium, he would have spotted me, and that makes this thing so unusable. Um, as you can see, I've switched to the premium ammo, because uh, with all these guys coming in, I thought, mm, this is going to be a, a really tricky fight, especially against those heavies. Because the 171 pen or something that this thing has is not too shabby. But uh, against these kind of heavy tanks, especially ISs, KV-3s, it has such a retarded tendency to just bounce off. I mean, even the premium ammo uh, can be quite potato. Um, but yeah, this, this thing, I wanted to actually do a review on it. Um, but uh, Wargaming managed to bring out a patch again, which broke all the old replays. So now I was left with only this Ace Tanker replay. Uh, I didn't have any other ace tankers or uh, first class ma uh, matches to actually show you the tank in action. So I'm, I'm left with this replay and not re not much for an actual review. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just going to do it this way. We're going to uh, just go over this replay. I'm going to tell you roughly what I think of this tank. Then we'll uh, look at the results and I'll show you my uh, loadout in the garage as well uh, after that. But yeah. This uh, WZ tries to come in, and we're in a tricky spot now. We've got a heavy tank there, a light tank there, millions of tanks coming in. Um, and I'm just trying to hold on as long as possible. I've got the backup of one TD and one medium. Um, even though the medium should be here doing my job. But hey, um, let, let the TD do all the spotting and all the brawling. Why not? So, yeah, the only good thing that's here is this rack of the Churchill on my team he's actually providing me with a little bit of cover here and that's exactly what I'm doing I'm using this guy for cover and I'm trying to not get hit Arty luckily supports me as well um, I do get a bit salty after I'm killed spoiler alert uh, because I felt that the, the team was really letting me down here now this light tank thinks he can come in and kill me. I'm trying, as you can see, fucking slow terror rotation. I'm trying to keep up with this guy while still being putting this Churchill between me and him. And now, yeah, this is not me going to survive. But in the end, we managed to do 2.1k damage and 
2.4k spotting actually before uh, this battle ends. And yeah, I get a little bit salty here because I was I was really frustrated that uh, everyone that went town died. And uh, it was up to the paper TD to actually start brawling with uh, enemy tanks. But we we managed to actually uh, pull it off here and managed to secure our ace tanker. Um, Black Gold Saw here is uh, trying to take care of all of these guys. And he's actually doing a quite a good job. He actually did uh, quite a lot of damage as well. Uh, and he managed to secure the other flank for us. So, in the end, we ended up winning. But I've had so many matches in this tank where I've put up a similar performance as this. And we would, would just lose. Because the, the challenger can't carry. And I'm really... Um, in one of the future patches, the Challenger will actually get a, a good gun. It will get like a Centurion type gun with um, 240 health and a good pen. And then this, that tank would be way more bearable. And ev But even though I did uh, quite good in it, I, I don't think it's a good tank. Not at all. It's, uh, it's shit as a TD and it's shit as a medium. But yeah, let's take a look at the post-battle results. So here we've got the result, uh, Ace Tanker obviously and no other medals which is fairly reminiscent of most of the battles I had in this T TD slash medium hybrid piece of crap. Um, we managed to get 1310 base XP for 2283 damage. Uh, a lot of our team actually carried their weight which is good to see, uh, that's always nice, this RT uh, supported me as well, was pretty useful and that TD. Uh, they managed to basically do uh, the 2.5k spotting that I have here and uh, that M4 as well. So they actually managed to get me some extra XP as well. Obviously we made a loss but I, I really I really didn't give a shit anymore at, uh, at the end of that match because I just wanted to go through the challenger. Um, as I said, played 64 battles in it and I'm, I'm glad that I can actually sell it now and go on to the charioteer which is actually a good TD. Um, so yeah. As I said, I'll give you a uh, quick rundown in my garage after this uh, result screen. So if you want to see that, uh, my setup and my closing thoughts, then uh, hang around. Otherwise, see you next time. So here we are for the final thoughts uh, of mine on the Challenger. So yeah, let me quickly show you my setup. Uh, crew skills wise, as I said, I was training up the camo on most of the crew members and six and so I didn't actually have a full camo crew but in my comparison you'll see what I mean with the crappy camo uh, when I come to it. Um, I have mounted a rammer, vents and coated optics. This is a close top TD so you can, you can mount vents. You can't mount vertical stabilizers so uh, it's, it's better to take vents because that will uh, basically boost all of your crew skills. Coated optics obviously because you need to spot stuff for yourself. You can take binoculars if you want. Um, I rather have the view range on the move in these tanks than have static view range. Uh, the only TD I use binoculars on with a turret I think is the Scorpion because that thing has no armor and gets spotted by everyone and their dog. Um, a little bit like this thing, although this thing doesn't actually have the gun to carry it out of those situations. Um, good things about it, minus 10 gun depression, which is really quite nice. Really nice DPM 2700 is, is quite quite good. I mean, the Comet is known for a good DPM and it's got 2500. So, yeah, it's 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 good DPM. So those and, and the mobility in a straight line is actually quite good as well. I mean... It's it's not shabby, but that is where the good things end. So, shitty view range to begin with. 416 with coated optics. Uh, not really, not really good for a TD, especially not such a massive, ginormous, tall TD. You'd expect to have more uh, view range. And speaking about massive TDs, here's the camo value I have currently. And granted, my crew is not full camo. Three of them are pretty much, no, four of them are full, uh, so only this one isn't, uh, it's 99%, and this guy is not trained in camo, so this should be pretty good enough to actually get some camo. Look at this value, 24. Now, let's look at the Comet. Granted, three people in this tank have got camo trained, 23.98. So, pretty much the same as the TD on the same tier. 
T23 E4, E3. Three people trained camo in this thing. 23.1, pretty much the same. Uh, then T34 1. Three of the four people tr not even fully trained in camo. 29.58. So I think you're starting to see a pattern here. But let's just continue. The Leo. Two people trained in camo and one is starting. 22.92. Against 24 point something. SU12244, an actual TD with two crew members trained on camo and two barely started, 38.39. E25, we're not going to compare that because that thing is broken, but 50 with a full camo crew. So, but yeah, you get, you got the gist. I mean, the T71 here um, is a light tank. Not even fully trained in camo, no uh, no camo paint on it. Twenty five. I mean, this TD, this this is a TD. This thing should have bloody camo because that's the only thing you have to not basically get shot in the face for every f shot you fired. And while the aim time is nice, one point five seconds, with the dispersion, obviously that is a great big lie. You spend way more aiming, and because you can't mount vertical stabilizers, it's it's. It's around two seconds, I think, effective uh, aim time. But the gun itself is, is rather potato. The dispersion values look alright, but for some reason it, it just goes all over the place. I mean, I do like the gun DPM, and the penetration can work, uh, definitely if you're not engaging heavies. It's not the greatest, but the DPM sort of makes up for it. But really, this thing should have camo, because... It just it it just doesn't work, and even though I did well in it, I managed to get one gun barrel in six sixty four matches. Not really uh, the greatest ever. Sixty three percent win, almost nine hundred average XP. Damage per game wasn't actually that high, but that was not because I couldn't actually do damage, but that was because I was killed before I can actually put all all my uh, DPM to use. Because you you don't have camo, so you get spotted pretty much all the time. In the end, I managed to get it up to 73.34, whatever, for the gun marks. But yeah, I'm not going for the three gun marks. This thing is shit. So um, as soon as the crew retraining comes on discount, I'll retrain my crew for the charioteer, which I've got. Um, and I'll... Uh, probably enjoy that thing way more because it actually has a usable gun um, and to people currently grinding this TD I would strongly advise you to wait for the the patch where they actually give it a proper gun because if you don't have camo and your gun is sort of meh and your turret rotation I mean this turret rotation is that is that somewhere uh, blah, blah, blah. I actually don't know because I never look at these stupid stats no traverse speed, there, no clue. Um, but turret rotation really shitty. Oh yeah, it's stated here actually. Traverse speed 16 degrees a second. I mean, phew, that's that's half of the the turn speed of this actual TD, and it's slow in the turning. So yeah, um, this might have been a good uh, balancing mechanic uh, three or four years ago when these TDs were released, but now it's way too slow. Especially for such a huge paper thing. Um, so yeah, anyone grinding it now, I strongly advise you to wait till you get a proper gun on it. Unless you really want to get to the chariot here. I just wanted to get rid of it. Um, I was grinding the Leo at the same time. And while I didn't like the, the, the Challenger, I fucking hated the Leo to, with a passion. I mean, this thing is just terrible. 52% um, win ratio in it. Uh, but with better average damage than the, the chariot here. Um, supposedly um, a Comet. Well, look at the difference. 69% win ratio, two gun barrels. 52% win ratio. This thing is just as crap. So I was grinding these two at the same time. And actually I was enjoying the Challenger more. But then I finished the grind for the for the Amel 1. And I had to uh, just grind the, the Challenger solo for about... Uh, 10 15 matches and then i i sort of noticed how crap it really is uh, especially if you start playing other tanks so yeah um this ended up as a little bit of a mini review so yeah 
hope it was useful and if you liked the video feel free to rate it subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time